when my father decided to run um, as for the Republican nomination, I can say I was, you know, I was a little bit worried just based on previous, um, you know, the past, the past Republican establishment and how, you know, their views maybe were towards this community, towards gays, lesbians. But guess what? My dad cannot be bought off. He's not going to let anyone change his views, and he's done that. And I pray that you all see that. Truly. Like, I'm here speaking. I wouldn't lie to you. I promise. I wouldn't. Like, I was texting all my friends. I, it was last minute, and Rick told me he's doing this event. I said, what? Trump Pride? I have to go. This is like the first coalition under Republicans for Pride. I'm so excited. Truly. difficult, truly. I mean, as a young, I guess, I am fit in that category of the educated young woman, you know, category, it's hard to speak. A lot of us are silenced, or a lot of us feel as though, oh no, if I say this, then I'm accused of this. But what I've learned, when you don't speak and you do remain silent, and I used to think that was a strength, but when you don't, they create their own narrative, the narrative that they want to sell to the world, and they've created that about me. So now I'm here to speak to you because I've educated myself. I understand what I believe in now, because I'm not going to speak about politics or policies until I have my own beliefs. And guess what? I'm here standing here for a reason, and people can say whatever they want to say, but I'm here because I support my father. He supports all of you, and we are here to fight for equality and democracy, to keep America and make it better. Yes, Trump pride! And I'm here to tell you Donald Trump is 100% with us. He loves the support from gays and lesbians and asks me pretty regularly, how are we doing with gays and lesbians? <laughs> And I say, Mr. President, the gays love you. They love you because you're savage. They love you because you're brave. They love you because you are changing Washington, D.C. I sat in 1992 in Houston, Texas, and I watched as the Republican National Convention in Houston, Texas had a speaker by the name of Pat McCann. And Pat gave a speech don't want us to be better. The Democratic Party has moved from wanting tolerance and diversity to a point that they're angry when Republicans are good on gay rights. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.